Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its panoramic roof, heated and cooled front seats, as well as its navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights and then if we take a closer look just over on the side you'll see your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your foldable mirrors as well as your heated mirror or sorry your integrated signal lamps and then if we take a look on the inside of the mirror you'll see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator it'll actually light up just learning if there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is red. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. And on the left hand side, you'll see your traction control on and off as well as your eco on, heated steering wheel, all wheel drive lock and blind spot monitoring on and off. Seat memory controls for your drivers one and two, mirror controls along with your window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, seek function mute, mode select, Bluetooth with voice recognition, cruise control, and your scroll function for your multi-informational display. Now you do have your push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on there which include your fuel economy, range, and then you can also see your trip info and scrolling through some more. You can go through your audio as well as your service and your settings menu just so you can personalize everything for yourself. Taking a closer look now at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, as you can see in your bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see your digital clock. And as you can see, it's preparing for the navigation system for you to use. And if you take a look just down below here in your setup menu, you'll see your sound display, phone, navigation, as well as a couple of other additional settings that you can personalize for yourself. Down below, you're going to see your temperature control settings with your hazard lights for your dual zone climate control. And then you also have your temp, uh, sorry, your power outlet with your USB and auxiliary input. Matted to an automatic transmission with your heated seats and cooled seat controls for your driver and passenger and your rear parking sensors on and off. Now if you take a look at the top here you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass and then you'll find your open and close as well as your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your sunglass case holder. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you have your backup camera just on your left-hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your Hyundai emblem. Closing in on the rear cargo space, if you need more additional cargo room, you can fold down your rear seat. The nice thing is in the cargo area, you do have the cargo mat, which is great because in the event that you spill any liquids back here, you can just clean it up afterwards just by removing it and cleaning it up properly. Underneath the floor, you'll find your jack and toolkit underneath there as well as some under the floor storage space. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.